Before we import our sample data in our Senate Studio, there is something you need to keep in mind. If you created all the schemas like I showed you in the tutorials and use the same name and ID, then you are good to import the sample data. But if you customize the schemas and its IDs, in this case, if you try to import the sample data, probably you will face some error. So because the sample data was created with the structure that I showed you in the tutorial. So if you cannot import the sample data, in this case, you need to make your own data. So last thing in our Senate Studio is we need to add our uh, data. Right now, we actually created whole structure. We need to add data. So right now, we don't have data. So for that reason, I specifically give you some sample data here. So if you go to Studio, inside the data, you will see sample data tar.zz. So this file is for our sample data. We need to import this in our Sanity Studio. So let's actually do that. So for that, open your uh, Sanity, open your terminal here and make sure you inside the sanity project means you inside the sanity studio folder and after that you need to run sanity dataset import and after that you need to actually give the path of this file which is inside the data so you need to go to the data and after that you need to uh, say what is the name of the file so data sorry sample data dot tar dot cz so yeah as you can see that uh, this is the name and this is the full path of this file so inside the data folder we have our sample data and this is the full path of this file and after that uh, we need to say that where we need to actually uh, put this data uh, in which data set we already have one uh, data set which is the production and that's where uh, we want to put this all data so we need to specify the name of the data set which is the production so this is the name of the data set and after that we need to pass a flag which is the dash dash replace. So this is this flag is for um, if you have already data in your studio right now we have data. What we want is we want to replace all the data with the new data. So all the data that you have here will be replaced with the new data from the sample data file. So let's actually enter this and let's see okay we got an error because we did some type mistake here this should be sample so i made a mistake writing sample so sample like that so this is the full path of this file this file as you can see and now this should work all the things all the things are imported here as you can see really really nice and after that let's actually start the project npm start to start our sanity studio so our sanity studio is ready if i refresh i should see the new data here okay i can see data Okay, I can see also some errors. I will get back to it in a moment. Let's see what we have here. So in our blog post, I can see all the blog post here. But for some reason, this is not. Uh, we have also our demo one. So we can actually delete this our demo one. But it should replaced with the and for the author we have the authors okay first of all let's actually uh, fix this error uh, what we have here so so this is actually happening in our featured so if i go to my featured and specifically it is here in the block sorry here in the categories right now we have our uh, three featured blocks which is fine but for the categories we are actually facing the problem okay i think uh, i saw the problem uh, okay so when we created this data we actually uh, named this field is category not categories something like that so i think now it should actually so if i do category 
yeah as you can see that all data is back here and uh, that is a problem I mean this one is actually the one we created but this one should be replaced with the new data right okay I think uh, here as you can see that in the import uh, what I need to do is actually I need to do all this thing but uh, we did that perfectly so if you uh, so here you can see that if you encounter errors because a document ID already exists you can use replace flag okay I think it is okay okay I think I got it so it will not directly replace the whole thing it what it will do actually is it will replace that document if it is having the same ID so yeah so that's why uh, we can see the duplicate so yeah I think we can actually delete this one that we actually created because right now we have our new data so delete this and also uh, in our category the one we created which is a web development we can actually delete this because we do not need this anymore but if you want you can actually keep it now we have all of our data here as you can see all of our data from the sample file so the last thing that I need to do is I need to deploy the site I mean deploy the sanity studio so for that here we need to close this and we need to run sanity deploy sanity deploy will deploy your site and uh, studio hostname so you can use the default hostname I think that will be fine hostname okay you need to give it a hostname so let's say that um, tech hub blog recording so this host name will be um, will be for your sanity studio so uh, you can go uh, tech hub blog recording dot sanity dot studio to get your sanity studio so this is something like a subdomain for your sanity studio so once you have your host name it will actually deploy your uh, all the stuff and you can see that they are getting the sanity uh, api data set and api a project ID from our environment variables which is good so done as you can see that uh, success study deployed to this URL and if you open this URL you can directly go to the sanity studio of your project and you need to uh, probably you need to log in yeah I need to log in so let's log in with the same credential and once you are done login you can see your uh, your sanity studio and if you remember the subdomain of this um, of this sanity studio you can see the host name that we defined and yeah we can see all of our stuff awesomely great so if I come here in our uh, sanity.io web uh, in the account sanity account and if I refresh now here we should see this uh, studio URL which is uh, tech hub blog recording so great so now before we end the video let's actually configure some stuff here uh, in our schema so here in our objects we have our uh, body text and excerpt text so I'm thinking to change the name of these two so let's actually start with the excerpt text so in our excerpt text let's actually rename the file so let's make it normal text and let's also change the title as well so normal text and also in the name it will be the normal text and after that uh, let's also change the body text so from the body text let's actually rename the file and let's make it um, rich text I think these will make more sense so instead of post body the title will be the rich text and the body name will be the rich text with a smaller so normal text and the rich text 
and after that we need to change uh, all the uh, in all places where we actually used those so first of all let's start with the schema so let's go to our schema and as you can see that the path name is not valid right now so we need to change it so now the name of the file is a uh, rich text for our body and the except text will be the normal text and also let's change the variable name so rich text and here normal text and we need to also change it here so rich text and normal text so that's it and i think this file is fine now and also we need to do the same thing for our uh, if i go to our document in our blog if I open my blog, I can see that uh, we used this excerpt for our excerpt text. So let's actually change the type. It is now normal text. And for the body, it is now uh, rich text. And if I save, it should be fine, this file. And after that, let's go to our author. In author, we use this in our bio. So in our bio, instead of body text, I will use uh, normal text so for our bio we will not use uh, like we will not use image or we will not use um, any kind of fancy stuff so normal text will be fine for our bio and also if I go to our uh, categories so in our categories uh, for our description we can use normal text as well so here also we do not need any kind of fancy stuff so that's why normal text will be enough for our description in the category and if I save, that's it, all the uh, changes. And if I open my studio and PM start from the studio folder, it will open and let's see if anything breaks. So if I open my scenario studio, let's see. So it is looking good in our featured, no error, I believe. Yeah, there is no error. So if I go to the blog post, let's see. So if I open one of them, It's also fine as you can see that the data is looking good and uh, also let's go to our authors also fine so categories and it's also looking fine so fine everything is good so i think i forgot to show you one one thing so let's go to our uh, blog and so in blog if i come here in blog let's actually come here in the excerpt and so actually what i want to show you uh, how we can actually add a description in our field so if, let's say that for our excerpt field here we want to add a description so for that we have a property name which is the description so description so we can say anything here so here a short description as you can see that so now after that uh, we will see this description and we will see this text if i come here scroll down and as you can see that after the field title we can see the description as you can see so this is how you can add a short or a little bit description to describe the field about the field so this is a short thing that i missed and now you know how you can add a description so that's it so now we are done with uh, all of the scenario stuff i think in the next thing that we'll do is we will uh, jump into our front end with gatsby.js and graphql data layer